So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. And today guys, I bring you a brand new rune farm where you can throw yourself off the map and hundreds of thousands of runes and it takes literally no effort at all. Today we get into all. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now before we push on guys, today's video is sponsored by Instant Gaming. If you guys do not have Elden Ring or are looking for other gaming titles at a discounted price, look no further than instantgaming.com. Instant Gaming offers you all of the best gaming titles on every platform at a reduced cost. It's as simple as searching for your desired game choice, selecting the platform and hitting that buy button. You are then given that digital code to use on your platform. But wait, it gets better. Check out Instant Gaming via my link to be entered automatically into winning the game of your choice. It's that simple. Again, check out Instant Gaming via the link pinned at the top of the comments section and also at the top of the video description for all your gaming needs and gaming giveaways. Okay, so this takes place in the legendary Markwin Dynasty area. The old soul by a beautiful spot where you can farm those runes. Well, all over the place really. The hills are obviously the best. The bird's decent as well. But this is definitely faster than the bird. So if you're here farming the bird, do this, you'll earn more runes. Uh, but if you can farm the hill, you can farm these ads on the hill. There's no point in trying doing this at all. But hey, with your gold scarab equipped, guys, so you get those extra runes, this is what you gotta do. Now, you know the ones where you jump off the map swinging? This is a new spot, but it's actually super fast and super efficient to actually get to and do. Now, a lot of them uh, require scaling rocks. This doesn't at all. A lot of them are out of the way, so you have to actually run to them from this uh, grace point. The grace point I'm actually going to go from is this one right here, the Palace Approach and Ledge Road. But from here, we literally just want to go down to there, where that tree is right there. Now, you can do this two ways. Now, you can climb the rocks right here, which I'm going to do. But you can actually run around, which is a little bit longer, but nothing crazy. I'm just going to jump up there like that. Up here like this, people. And then we want to jump down here carefully. Now, if you don't be hasty, if you drop all the way down, you die. I don't know why I fell way uh, further than this on my horse before. But hey, for some reason, the kill, the drop can kill you. Now, from here, guys, it can be... Now, what it is about this, this can be a little bit tricky. Uh, but once you get it down, you'll be doing it every single time. What you want to do is, guys, you want to jump into that wall there. Just one jump. Simple, right into the wall in front of us. So you headbutt it. And as you fall, you'll turn left and you want to double jump into a gap in the map. Simple as that. And just swing your, ho uh, swing, swing your horse. Imagine swinging your horse. Swing your weapon. I'll show you exactly how it's done. So from here, guys, just run. Jump into there like that. Fall and double jump down into that crack. Then just swing your weapon. And there you go, guys. As simple as that. Just swing, swing, and swing away. Now, about this is, it takes about the same time as uh, every other jump down, map disappearing, ads falling uh, that you can do in this area. Uh, but people forget there's a second tick of runes. Once you get that first tick, it'll probably give you with the uh, gold scarab on 140k. There's also a second tick and you get a nice chunk with that too. So don't forget about that. Now, I will say this will take some getting used to, some practice in getting the jump perfect every time. Once you do, guys, you'll earn a ton of runes for sure. But there we have it, people. Now, there are people wondering about this area and how you actually get to the Mugwin Dynasty area. Um, well, you need to really do, if you're an early game player, you need to complete the White Face Vari quest line. It gives you the Pure Blood Knights medal, which is something you can activate from your inventory, and it teleports you straight to this area. Now, I'll put a guide in the video description. It's actually a massive guide on leveling up, this and the other. And that's your quest line is a part of that guide. But I'll link that down below, people. There's also another way. But you need to get to the mountain tops of the giants. It requires you to get their high league tree medallion. You have to complete, beat loads of bosses. And use a teleporter. Um, but hey, you should be able to get down here, guys. It's not too hard. But either way. I actually put, uh, dropped both methods, uh, the Snow Mountains method as well as the Pure Blood Knights medal. 
But hey, you'll find them linked down below, guys. But there we have it, another Oon Farming video. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of Oon, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my video, Tiffle people, I'll see you on that next one.